Ladies and gentlemen, welcome on back to the channel. Another traveling fishing trip. And we are in the great state of Texas at one of our great state parks. And I've got best friend Craig with me. Gonna do a little camping tonight, buddy. Camping tonight, I'm so excited, y'all. So we just got here, it's, it's kind of midday right now. We're gonna go ahead and set up camp so we can fish to the absolute nth of the darkness and get that maybe that top water bite. Oh, Craig, he loves himself a little popper action, a little top water. We're going to see what happens. Oh, man, we got, oh, gosh, burrs. We got burrs everywhere out here. So one of the purposes of this trip, number one, have fun, best friend Craig, do a little bass fishing out here, clear water, summertime. And then we're going to have, uh, we're going to test out some of my camping gear. So we're getting ready to, to go up to Colorado next month with the family. I brought the big tent. We're going to set that up, make sure we got everything. Because once you're up there, you're up there. So we got firewood to cook on. We're going to have uh, some good food tonight. We got the cooking utensils. Got the big old Kodiak canvas tent. Got the Dometic here. And for all those that are curious, the new truck has been performing great. A lot of hills going into central Texas and west west part of Texas. And the torque on, on this little diesel, I love it. Last trip where you guys watched where I was around all the deer, we got 17 miles to the gallon driveway to the driveway. And on this trip so far, I'm 16 and a half. And I've actually added something to the truck that I'm gonna be showing you guys here in the next couple of days. It's really cool, I'm still testing it out, but uh, so far I'm really in love with it. Do you want water side? Sure. Okay, Craig's gonna take water side, I'm gonna take this side. Was it a trick question? I feel like water side's better. Water side's probably better, dude. I mean, especially if you're passing some severe gas. You know me Just all too that, well. Yeah, get that breeze popping on through. This looks really high quality. What are these? This looks like what Tom Cruise last time with the windows on in a Mission Possible game. Yeah, or those uh, push-up things, rotating push-up oh, things. Oh, I remember those. Perfect push-ups? Perfect push-ups. So you put the three poles together, and then you shove them in. Oh, oh, it goes in these wheels. Okay, the poles go inside of the wheels. Oh, so That's it's how it goes. flat like that? I got a Why is one tire... Oh, I see what's going on. Wait a second. I think these have to be bunk beds. You don't have a bottom. I wonder if these can be fashioned Ooh. into a bottom? Is that why I have those pieces and you don't? Oh yeah, that's what it is. So here, that's let's, see what it can, is. let's see if you can put that at the bottom of there. Right? Grab one of those is. pieces and make it a flat. Yeah. So you take these and you stick them on the bottoms and that way you're not... Okay. What's well, an odd sounding bird I hear out there? Hear that? It's like a straight honker. We're not fully deep woods, okay? The sounds we, of nature. Yeah, the sound, sounds of nature. Doing family camping, these will be stacked on top of each other, then we'll have the big cot and a big pad. So that'll be like the, the king bed, and then we got the twins. Yeah, buddy, got tent set up with pads. We got steaks in the refrigerator. We're gonna be cooking those when we get back. Firewood's already down there. We're ready to give it a dangle now. We'll see what these old men can uh, can do. It's about 9.30 at night. It's pretty much past our bedtime. Craig, first time seeing the new silver bullet. Dude, it's almost too pretty. The gray on the water. Wait, did we not have this this year when we fished Fork? No, remember? that was your last one in the Skeeter. That was your last trip. That was! That was your last Skeeter oh trip. Oh my gosh, I forgot. The last trip me and Craig took, it was in the last Silver Bullet. And uh, I retired it on that trip because it was so good. But I've never fished this lake this time of year, so we're about to see what we can put together. fighter jets flying over that's a theme on my channel now I just have you know the Air Force and the Army just flying over me just checking in you know every once in a while silver bullet good to go got you covered wish they'd give me some coordinates for some big fish but we just caught our first two fish what we have found here is just an island it's got a bunch of trees around it where we're sitting is 25 feet of water and those fish came in yours probably came in like 18 mine probably came in 12 on this little drop, so can't we could not feel both of the bites. Craig's throwing, 
throwing that Magnum Slim Shake, the 8-inch. And then I was throwing our little Junior Trench Hog. Throwing a Junior Trench Hog, catching Junior Bass. Having a hard time filling up the live well with this guy. So this is my first fish right here. You know, it's your standard 14 and a half, maybe a 15 incher. Still smells good though. They got the old loose mouth, summer loose mouth. And we're just working slow in the trees. I think uh, oh, there's a couple of fish seeing the electronics here, guys. Look at this. What a small mouth. He got oh. as big as water. Oh, you got him? Nice. He was in a tree. And then he come and got it. Hey. Hey, yeah, buddy, come here. Okay. Dude, again, though, like, not really feeling the bite. Spongy. Spongy. That makes it tougher. It does. Because then everything starts feeling like a bite. You get a couple of those, you're like, oh, man. See you, buddy. That's two bites on the old Hoonier. Hoonier size. And it was frothy. Like, it was a fight. It was like a five-minute fight. Fun. That is fun. That's huge. That's well. Cool. <laughs> they definitely hit different. Oh, nice oh dude! Yeah. Bass! Oh, what was that? That's a little white bass. You think so? Yeah. She coming up there on that top water, son! Fire. Did you hit it? Oh. oh, no, that's definitely white bass. <laughs> I was gonna say, I... <laughs> I might get two on here. Dinner! Find them anywhere you go, man. Yeah, they come to me. The silver bullet, it lo looks like one of them. Doubling up. Better get them pliers ready. Nah, we got steaks for dinner. You know, I love a white bass, but a, a good, a good old Angus steak, hard to beat. We gotta double up. Oh yeah, I'm on. You already got him? Oh yeah. <laughs> nice little. Oh, that's a maybe a hybrid. That's a big one. Oh jeez. Huge. Oh boy. Sorry. Watch those foot pieces. I think ah no, that's just a big white bass. That's a, huge... that's a full grown one. How are they not just clobbering that right now? Oh, there oh it. my. That seemed, that seemed like a better one, didn't Tasty it? Tasty treat. That is some getting after it right there. Man, they know right when to kick. Oh huh? boy. Yeah, these are bigger. This is a different breed here, a different group. Oh yeah, those are full grown white bass there. I almost threw the pliers in right there. I felt the need to throw the pliers in for some reason. Man, these things aren't even fighting that hard. They're just, they're just hot. Oh yeah, they're all back to our left. Oh, I got two, dude. You got two. <laughs> I got freaking you gotta two. Get a picture of that. Oh my! Oh, there's a striper mixed in. Let me, let me take a picture. See, of that. one's Where's a striper, one's Where's a white bass. You gotta get a pic of that. Dude. That's freaking nuts. Oh, that's a hook and a half. How do you get it? How do you do this thing? <laughs> What's the first move here? I don't know what you do. Oh, buddy, stripers are just terrible too. Oh gosh. Oh got him. You got the good one there. Oh, oh no, I, I thought, thought it was. When that first jump I thought it was big too. Dude, it, it thumped it like a big one. That first head shake I was like, oh. It was our bass down there then. Thought we had some crappie, but I think we got them large mouths out there deep. Got a couple suspects down there, ladies and gentlemen. I feel like a Ned rig right here just get slurpied oh there's another one he's got it right under the boat saw him on the graph smally no no nope. so with it color, it is a smally is it a smally <laughs> small large oh, mouth wow. <laughs> that's a healthier one there got him right in the schnoozle just looking at it 
It's one of those fish we saw right down there on the, the bottom. It's kind of weird, dude. They're like right in the middle of the cove here. Just one of those little ticklers. There we go. Better one? Oh, it's the same. They're all in this range. I wonder if that's the same fish. Oh, there's a big one with it. Big one with it. I saw that. Big one. Oh, chop, 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 chop. Are they schooling right here? Oh, no, it was just one that. God, dude. Three pounder with it. Ah, oh, I spit dude. it out. Dude. I saw that. Got him. The shoulders on that My one. My man. Dude, broke out the long lens and. Whoa, 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 buddy. We just won't even show that. Look at that hump. Atta boy. See that? That one's got the fat back. All right, a little football starting there. You knew there had to be one under the dock there. Fat. Getting some fish in the box, y'all. Just picking away at them. Doing the old Texas rig, finesse jig. Craig's got a trench hogs on there. Just made contact with the dock. That's what that was. A little junior trench hog on a, on a shaky head, 3 8 ounce shaky head. But just, man, it's been a tough bite. Just kind of picking away. The trees haven't turned on like I thought they would. I thought they'd be all over the trees, but they're on these little breaks. Um, we just started catching a few, like, sort of in the shade. The bites have been anywhere from, like, six foot all the way out to 20. We still got a few hours before the sun really gets down. We've already got our camp set up, bed set up, all that stuff. I just want to capitalize on that late evening bite and hopefully get some top water tasties. Biggest fish we've seen, three pounds. Now, if you guys watched my video the other day where I caught the biggest smallmouth out of the wolf pack, there was three of them, and I ended up catching the three, three and a half pounder out of that group, well, just had a 14 incher on back there and then a three pound large mouse coming up behind it, trying to eat it. That's almost always how it goes. I tried to catch it, tried to break out a drop shot real quick, but he'd already seen me. Said, nope, you'll take it to the house, sorry. Summer, low oxygen, they're either gonna go deep water, current, or shade. Those are your three best options to catch large mouth. So we're gonna keep plugging away out here, having a good time as always, y'all. I mean, best friend Craig, we've been fishing since we were, gosh, little teens. Little teens out there having uh, big baseball dreams. You remember your O2 hacks? O2 just giving her. O2 looked like 3 1. Oh, come out of the shoes. <laughs> just give, give it the old knee to the face and just swing out of the shoes. That's uh, that's how I, I like to play anyway. If you're going to go down, go down swinging hard. I had to do it. I had to jump in. I had to get the shad readings with my toes. I'm just going to do a quick 360 around the glitter sled here. I mean, it is a shiner. It is a silver shiner in the water every once in a while you just gotta jump in the lake gives you a little different perspective All the fire up said nope no more portal it's not getting approved oh, got him on the bank what do we got on size oh decent there we go biggest one of the day how about that jump how about it dude Oh, I got one of mine too. Get him, get him. Oh, up, oh, dude, up, big one. Let's go. Holy cow. Oh, this is a pull of drag, dude. Let's go, Justin. Let's go. Oh, oh no, he's got me oh, in a tree. One. Oh, my oh goodness. dude. Oh, I think I'm hung in a tree, get him dude. Out of there. Get him out of there. God, that was a big one. I got it. This is good. You got a tanker dude, too. Cool. Don't don't let him get any, get you in a tree, though. Dude, that guy is just bird dogging you. Dude, dude, I'm 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 still trying to get dog. mine. Okay. That's one of the hardest fighting two and a half, three pounders. Got them on the blooper. I've got one on the hound right here, but God, I wish we could get this double That'd be in. Sweet. I'm gonna start the evening. Nice fish, Greg. Thank you, sir. Give me a pound. The biggest fish of the day. Oh yeah, on oh, my favorite lure. Go, ahead, go ahead and let yours go. Okay. So it's... Dang, dude. I wonder, he just got me on something. We had a oh, he's still on. He's still, still on. on. You, Did you see that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta go in. I'm in my underwear, I by the way. I think you gotta go in. I think so, too. He's going in. Gotta dodge a tree a little bit. <laughs> you never know. Did you put spot lock on? Nope. 
Oh boy. I'm down here. Craig, I'm down here deep. You need some help? Dude, he's... Oh. Dude, I'm so close to him. You need some help? Oh. Dude, I'm going under. Oh my gosh. It's wrapped around a twig. A twig? Yep. Dude, don't risk it. We're 30 pound braid. We're getting close to the rocks. Just take control of the helmet. <laughs> Dude. I... Dude. Hey, you, uh, let's get back in here call it a day. Come on, man. We're, look at this motor. Come on. We're good. You're going to lose sight of where this is. We're good. Just hit the anchor. How do I hit that? Which well, button? Actually, just don't even touch it. We're fine. It's not windy. Oh, boy. Oh, dude, he's deep. Yeah. He might not even be still on there. He's way deep. Dude, I think it's four pounder. I'm serious. I, I don't doubt like that it. That explosion. Oh god, that would be epic if I got him. I didn't want to stick my hand down there on the line and get my hand hooked on the lure, you know, and then be hooked oh, no to way. a fish and a tree. Got me hung up deep on a tree. Just took that. I mean, it was like fast fish. Those two fish right there. I don't know what they were drinking, but it wasn't water. They were on some they Red Bull or something. Water. We've got, I want to say about 45 minutes of just quality low light. I'm going to tie another uh, a top water on. I think I'm going to, I'm probably going to stick with the hound, but just uh, the blooper might be the deal, man. Oh, there's one. Got him. Get him up. Decent. Look how fat he is. These are healthy ones over here, man. They're just busting shad. Something about this bank, Justin. Let's go. Get him. Oh, got him on the tree. Oh, boy. <laughs> Do that? Nope. A little squirter, but I'll take him. See, you, buddy. Oh, gosh. Big one just busted on mine. Get, Get in there. Dude. Oh my god, big it. Big it. Dude, that is a big one. Mm-hmm. This is the one we've been waiting on. I don't want to get me in the tree. Just bring him back this way. Here it comes. Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> Let's, Look go, that, dude. Let's go. Holy cow. Look, Look at the fat. fat that thing is. That's incredible. Oh my gosh. That's a football. Craig. Is it dude, pregnant? For a summer fish? That is that is pregnant? Or unbelievable. What? Look at the belly, Justin. Just eating shad. <laughs> dude, put him in the well for a sec. Ladies and gentlemen, the blooper's killing it. Um, what was your screen name back in the day? We, we had AOL. I was, screen uh, name? Man, Xbox Live, I was Brush Hog 05. Screen name, I think I was Topwater Popper 212 or something like that way back when. I mean, this man is in love with popping sal baits. Put a blooper in his hand, got on a hot streak, and ended on a freaking dandy. This is one of the fattest summer fish I've ever seen in my life, y'all. Look at this thing. <laughs> Look at that thing. I mean, that's a five pound fish with a three pound mouth. Unreal. Dude, awesome fish. You want to get a pick real quick? Look at that gut. I think video is good, man. Okay. Unless you want to pick. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, you've caught some big fish this year, buddy. Let me go. Let's go one pick. One pick. I mean, that's just ridiculous. Look at the pro. That fish is going to be 12 pounds one day. It's got the jeans. Let's let the Sally go. As a miss, maybe a hooker one day. Mix in a salad, buddy. Look at this. That fish is just all straight protein. Ready? Ready. Amazing. Hey, amazing. <laughs> Time to head back camp, eat some steak. Let's go buddy. get some steak. Let's go get it. Pro X 
access might have gotten just a hair scratch. Not nothing big, just a little cedar tree right there. Had to back it in all the way. This is camp. Do you see those white-tailed deer running around? I did. Right in front of your truck. Pretty sweet. Uh, we got camp set up down there. Cold adult beverage. Thank you, bestie. You got it. And for the next video, I'm gonna show you guys the sleep setups, show you how that works out. And then we're going after top water in the morning. I may end up just having to catch my dinner because I don't have much food after the steaks. Fish Freaks, this is what it's all about right here. You know, these are crazy times, the COVID times, but it's also the opportunity to connect with your friends and family, go do stuff like this. This is a state park, I have a park pass. Uh, it cost me $18 to camp out here for two days. You can't beat that. So I'm gonna sign it off here before it gets dark, but thank y'all for being with me on each and every adventure. I'm wishing you the best in all of your dangles. God bless. We'll see you on the next one. Don't let the mosquitoes in there, bud. Oh, they, they going out here? Where's that little river? Ah, uh, I'm not good one. Need some catfish bait, dude. That'll be the deal. In and out, in and out. Just don't let the skeeters in. Shut it, shut it. Shut it down. Shut it down. <laughs>